What's going on, everybody? Your boy, Country Boy, back again. Now, there was a school shooting. Um, This young man decided to shoot up the school, kill four people. And because he was having trouble at home, he decided to take his frustration out on other people. See, this is what happens when you can't handle your emotions when you're not a critical thinker, you know? You know, since his parents was having trouble, he decides to go kill everybody. Go go to the school and go shoot up the bitch and go kill innocent people. That ain't how you handle your, your frustration. Go read a book, go work out, go jack off, go do something other than killing innocent people. WGN Shannon Halligan has more. Shannon. Yeah, 14 year old Colt Gray has been charged as an adult with murder in the shootings yesterday. According to reports, the Jackson County Sheriff investigated Gray following a threat posted on social media last year. An investigator interviewed the teen then, and his father, Colin Gray, said the boy struggled with the parent's separation. According to transcripts, the teen's father said his son knew the seriousness of the weapons and what they can do. Now, the 54-year-old father has also been charged in the shooting that left four people dead. Classes at Appalachia High School were canceled Thursday, the day after two students and two teachers were killed. We were walking outside and I just, I started crying because I knew it was real. And I've heard about some people that were injured and some people that have gotten shot. And I knew them personally. The victims have been identified as Mason Shermerhorn and Christian Angulo, both 14 years old. Teachers Christina Irimi and Richard Aspinwall were killed by the suspected shooter. Aspinwall was also a football coach at the school. Coach was an amazing guy. He pushed us to be great at what we did and for our team. At least nine other people were also wounded in the shooting Wednesday. Residents in the Georgia community went by the school to pay their respects to the victims, expressing anger and sadness. Something that could have been prevented or try to be prevented here in the state of Georgia. But yet still, people are allowed to get guns, free to get guns. We're over it. Guns ain't the problem. People the problem. Crazy motherfuckers like this young man, like this young boy, is the problem. Crazy motherfuckers is the problem. Disturbed people is the goddamn problem. It ain't the guns. It's the person behind the goddamn gun. These kids should never lost their lives. These parents, these adults, these teachers should not have lost their lives yesterday. So. The Georgia Bureau of Investigation did confirm the suspected shooter, 14-year-old Colt Gray, had been under investigation for a threat posted online last year. Now, the teen's father, 54-year-old Colin Gray, has been charged in connection with... That goddamn boy look like a disturbed young man. I can't tell if he a girl or a boy. He look like he a disturbed young man. He need to go get some help, some psychological help. He look like he disturbed... Well, I'll tell you the truth. They should have seen the signs while looking at his head. He looked crazy as hell. The school shooting. Mr. Gray, these charges stem from Mr. Gray knowingly allowing his son, Colt, to possess a weapon. President Joe Biden, while speaking in Wisconsin, again called for gun safety measures following the deadly high school shooting. Just getting back to school and a joyous and exciting time. Absolutely shattered, shattered. The president insisted that the nation cannot continue to accept the carnage of gun violence. Some of my Republican friends in Congress are just finally have to say enough is enough. We have to do something together. Let's ban assault weapons. Even if you ban AR-15, you still got handguns. Make that make sense. Even if you ban AR-15s, you still got handguns. Motherfuckers still gonna shoot the shit out of each other with handguns. What's wrong with these dumbass people? What we need is, we need border control. What we need is, get these goddamn illegals out of our goddamn country. That's what we need. What we need to take this goddamn high inflation down. What we need is our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. What we need 
is Donald Trump to be the goddamn president. We don't need no goddamn uh, gun control. I wonder uh, that, that, that Joe Biden to see all them goddamn Venezuelans out there in uh, Aurora, Colorado, fucking terrorizing them folks in that, in that goddamn apartments out there. Terrorizing them people. Got guns. Terrorizing them people. I wonder if he sees something like that. He's going to have gun control for them, for these fucking illegals. Who run around here shooting up people for no reason? Killing people and storing people? We need border control. The teen suspect is being held at a regional youth detention facility. He's expected to make his first court appearance tomorrow morning. Right, <clears throat> all right, thank you, Shannon. That's the end of the video, you guys. Fuck all this goddamn gun control. We need goddamn border control. Donald Trump, that's what we need. My heart truly does go out to all the people who got affected and, and got hurt by this this psycho, uh, this, this psycho young man, because he can't handle his feelings what's going on in, in his household. And so the only way he know how is to grab a gun and just start killing people, you know. It's just the way the cookie crumbles now. And so innocent lives has been lost here. Innocent lives has been lost, you know? So, my heart truly does goes out to the people who got affected by this, especially by the, the four people, families, members who, who got killed, man, like seriously. My heart truly does goes out to you guys because it's unnecessary. Why should somebody else suffer for somebody else got what they got going on in their life, you know? Sad, man, sad. I love those who love me. Don't forget, you guys, Jesus Christ is King.